we will look at the nginx configuration right so nginx will be the front end so any application uh, sorry any client when will request your application will first hit nginx nginx will pass the request or proxy reverse proxy the request to unicorn unicorn will talk to the uh, python application which is the django application and then the response will go so a bit complicated right but we have set up the unicorn already just now we have to set up nginx which will act as the front end of your uh, application so what we have to do is uh, do certain configuration again i'm following the same blog uh, which i have been following okay so i will go to the nginx folder okay and uh, then to the so i'll create a file insights available with the name of my project and inside the file i will keep this configuration again i'm copying the third block there are three blocks here right few changes we'll have to do first we'll have to add the ip address of our server right which is 139.59.31. Uh, dot or 207.31 i think we will check once 31.207 no problem then uh, static also will have to change so we'll have to keep it uh, wherever our static is right root uh, plan 21 and uh, then we'll set static right uh, this is it then this is the proxy pass so what we are saying is nginx will proxy pass the traffic to the socket file remember we created a socket file okay now always do sudo nginx minus t to check the configuration is correct or not it's successful and then we will just restart nginx sudo service nginx uh, restart very simple okay now let's see if our site is uh, visible or not so whatever the ip address was and uh, this is ip address okay site is not visible okay i know the reason why because we have not created a symlink so what we will have to do is create a soft link we have to enable this site here okay now it's enabled it's enabled now we can go to the uh, here we can see right now we'll just restart nginx and we should be seeing our website no we don't yes great we see our website but the static content is missing right uh, let's see why always you can see the console so it's a forbidden error right why this is forbidden because uh, nginx cannot access the root folder and all the static files are in the root folder so what we'll have to do is uh, i will copy all the files to a uh, to a static to to a folder outside the root okay so i created a root folder outside the root this is my folder and now I will do the same configuration in the nginx configuration maybe it might be sounding a bit uh, complicated to you but once you will do it and also see the blog that I'm following I think then things will become very easy so here just I have to change the static uh, to this and uh, always remember to add a slash here if it does not work i'm just adding let's see and this you can change with alias okay 
now I have to nginx minus t always after changing configuration and run nginx again restart let's see if this works okay I think it's working great 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 so it worked right uh, we got our website without any 8000 ports it's running on 80 port like all the websites generally do we might need to have HTTPS and uh, all the static content is visible all the pages are loading right what we saw in the uh, when we run it using unicorn or we ran it using python sorry django server then also it was running right so this is it uh, one thing is https which is remaining second is the postgres which you can again uh, follow this blog for postgres which is a simple thing so i did not include it right uh, you can create a database and then add the server and https also you can use let's encrypt uh, they will give you the small instruction that you will again have to add in your nginx config file slash etc slash nginx and sites enabled where we added that and that's it your site is up in live uh, if you want to link it to a domain name just uh, do the linking from your godaddy or whatever domain service provider is there to this ip uh, create an a record and on that uh, domain name your site will be visible to the world uh, so yeah that's it any any question any comment please let me know and yeah uh, do well and, and thanks for watching